Well, earlier this morning, the UN's top court ordered Israel to prevent acts of genocide against Palestinians and do more to help civilians. The court stopped short of calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, though. Today's ruling by the International Court of Justice comes as part of a case brought by South Africa accusing Israel of committing genocide. Israel has rejected that allegation. So joining us now with more on this uh, from Tel Aviv is CBS News foreign correspondent uh, Deborah Pata. Good to see you again uh, this morning, Deborah. Um, so the ruling has come out. What more can you tell us about it? Well, it's a landmark ruling and a very decisive one. South Africa is hailing it as a decisive victory, certainly. Essentially saying that Israel must take all measures within its power to prevent its troops from committing genocide. It must punish those who do. And it must take every step to preserve any evidence of possible genocide. And they must also take steps to improve the humanitarian situation. As you pointed out, while the ICJ did not order a ceasefire, it said it would not throw out the genocide case, ruling that the Palestinians appeared to be a protected group under the 1948 Genocide Convention. It did not decide, as we keep pointing out, on the merits of the genocide allegations, but Israel must submit a report in about a month's time outlining the measures it has taken to give effect to the court's orders. And okay, so then do we have any idea what happens next? We know, I know what Israel has been sort of ordered to do, but then going forward, what happens? Well, the court, as we've pointed out before, does, you know, not really have the teeth to enforce this. But as I said, it is a strong ruling. Um, the actual genocide case could take years, but rather the provisional measures essentially are aiming to prevent the situation from getting worse while this case proceeds. We've already heard from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who says the charge of genocide is not only false, it's outrageous, and decent people everywhere should reject it, and that they will continue to defend themselves against Hamas, which he calls a genocidal terror organization. But regardless of what is being said globally, and particularly in the global south, this is being hailed as a victory for the people of Palestine and for international law. Mm -hmm. um, now, as we've said, the substantive case will take a very long time, but what it does do is ensure that the way this war is conducted has to change. And Deborah, before I let you go, just to get some, some clarity, I know that um, Israel has already responded to the accusations of genocide. Did, have they responded to the current decision from the court, the one today? Not in any great detail, more just sort of general talking. As I said, um, Netanyahu condemning the whole case to begin with. They have long argued that this should actually be thrown out of court. But in terms of the actual um, orders from the court, there's been no substantial response yet, other than to say that they will continue to protect Palestinians. All right. Deborah, thank you very much. Well, CBS News has learned CIA Director William Burns will soon travel to France for talks on a possible deal to release hostages being held by Hamas in Gaza. Burns is expected to meet with his Israeli counterpart and the Prime Minister of Qatar. Egypt's intelligence chief will also be involved in those talks.